Hello. In the first of these short how-to screencast tutorials, I'd like to show you how to access Turnitin and Grademark and your students' work, and I'd like to show you how to do that from the Oxford Brooks homepage. So, as you can see in front of me, I've got the homepage open, and in the top right-hand side of the screen, you can see the staff drop-down menu. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to go to Virtual Gateway. And on this page you'll see here the VLE Moodle block. So I'm going to click on that. And that takes me through to the Moodle homepage. Um, I've already got my staff number and my password uh, saved. But you do need to put your P number in here. So put your P number in preceded by the P, your password, and then click Login. It's taking a bit of time. OK, so I'm on my home page. Now, my home page will probably look a little bit different to yours because I've put my um, courses block on the right hand side. You maybe will have your courses in the middle of your home page here. Um, your module leader for the module that you're teaching on will have added you as a course tutor to the Moodle site that you need to access. So we're going to have a look at Academic Writing 3 so U72310, Academic Writing 3. Just be a little bit careful of the date there because, um, as you can see just below that, I've got the Moodle site for last semester. So remembering that every semester we roll over and we have a new run of the Moodle site. So I need the February 2016 to May 2016 site. So I click on that. And here we have the um, Academic Writing 3 Moodle site. Um, again, this is something that your module leader will already have done. They will have added the Turnitin submission box to the Moodle site and it should be in the assessments block. So if you scroll down, I'm just starting at the top of the page there, I'm scrolling down, I've got the general block and then I've got the assessments block and I notice that this module leader has put the Turnitin submission box at the bottom of the assessments block. So I need to click on the submission box and here we have the submission box. You can see that there are two parts and then you get information about the start date, so when the box was open, and the due date. So the next thing I want to do is I want to see all of the submissions. So I click on the submission inbox, which is the third tab along. And here I have a list of all the students and their submissions. Um, I'm just using this as a practice so you can see that it looks like um, none of the students have submitted their work but as I said I've just created this, um, this inbox um, for this tutorial. So there are two ways that I can search for stu my students. Um, you can either go through the list of students um, However, if you've got a lot of students, this can be quite time consuming. So you have got a search box here on the right hand side. And if I just type in the name of one of my students and enter, it will just bring up that student. So that's a little bit easier to search for them like that. So, if I click on the name of the student, I just get their profile information. So, this is not what I want. So, I'm going to go back.
into the submission inbox. Actually what I need is beneath the name you will have the submission. So in this case the student has just submitted part one. Um, again you need to be a little bit careful here because if you if the module that you're working on has a draft system there might be a part one and a part two or a first draft and a final draft. So I'm going to click on the student submission here. It takes a couple of seconds to load up. Okay, so I'm just going to make it into full screen. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to make this a little bit bigger because it's quite small. If you go to the bottom here, you'll see a magnifying. And if you just drag that across, it comes nice and big. Um, at the top here, you've got three tabs. So if I click on the first one, I've got originality. So this is the Turnitin originality check. And then if I click on the middle box, this is the grade mark tab. And this is where I would do my grade mark feedback. And then the third mark is peer mark, which Oxford Brookes University doesn't subscribe to. Well, that's the end of the first tutorial. What I've showed you today is how to access Turnitin and Grademark and your students' work from the Oxford Brookes University homepage.